Hey y'all, it's me, The Longest Cosplays. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. I haven't done that intro in so long. Anyway, um, Sony made an Spider-Sona AI generator. And naturally, I made one. Uh, even though I don't like AI art. Um, I made one. And it gave me this. And... My big brain decided it'd be a pretty cool idea to, um, make a pattern for it, uh, for a video. And that's what you're watching. Buckle your seatbelts, this is gonna be quite the ride. Alright, so, this is a very interesting concept to begin with. Um, I have to, um, make sure that the colors are as close as I can to, uh, the concept art. Um, I should preface this entire video by saying I, I did not develop a concept before watching or before making this pattern. Um, I just kind of went in and I started winging everything. Um, and what you're seeing here is sped up footage of me doing it because if we were going to sit here and watch me go through this at 100% speed here, uh, that would... I... no. Um... You're gonna see here that I have um, a web or like a, a layer, like a web base from my uh, custom classic suit. Uh, that's because I wanted to um, make this in somewhat the same style as that. Like there's a few, uh, there's a few characteristics of my custom suits that bleed over into this one, such as the uh, the secondary collar and then the uh, fingerless gloves, as you'll see in later. Um, and I'm not gonna go over um, any like pattern making tips really because that's what my um, pattern tutorials are for um, all, all I'm really gonna mention like the big things here like the, the main stuff that happens um, as it kind of happens here um, this is unscripted commentary enjoy while you can <laughs> um, but yeah no this is um a very very, I don't think I've really seen anyone do this yet. Um, so I might be the first person to um, make a pattern from their uh, AI Spider Sona. Now, I want to, um, I want to say, um, I, I just don't like the way those things look. Um, like, I wish there was a better way for them to go about it than using AI. Like, I know AI is, like, the big thing right now, and it probably will be for a minute. It's the fucking future of a lot of things, unfortunately. But I wish there was a better way to let people make, like, spider sonas. Like, if it was, like, one of those, um, fucking, like, design your own character, like, games you'd find on, like, cheap Flash websites. <laughs> I wish it was like that. Um, but yeah. Here, you can just see, I'm just laying out the red sections. Um, the back, the main part of the back, I did mess up on at first. Um, and you'll see it much, much later. Um, but I, I, I fucked up on it. Uh, and you'll see I erased an entire section, uh, just to, uh, redo that and the webs that go along with it. Uh, that was the biggest hiccup here, um, for me. Um, is that I did make a few mistakes that kind of set me back a little bit. Um, and I believe there's another section towards the end where I'm doing web lines on the lower half. And I just didn't know what to do. And I did an entire thing of webs and I realized I didn't like it. Um, but yeah. Um, this recording, um, I was supposed to have this video done like a day before the Spider-Verse movie came out across the Spider-Verse. Um, that obviously didn't happen, <laughs> um, and it's, a, and that's fine, um, but I, I just want you guys to know this is, like, a, again, somewhat, like, tribute to Spider-Verse, Gross Spider-Verse coming out. Um, I haven't seen it yet as of this recording. Please don't spoil it, um, and by the time I do see this, um, just keep spoilers away from this video, um, if you want to talk spoilers or something uh, after I see it, just DM me um, on Instagram or Discord if you have me there. 
Um, but yeah, um, yeah. As you can see here, um, I'm just playing around with the red sections, making it. I'm making it pointier because of the nature of the V shape going on the uh, chest there. I wanted to keep that style in um, throughout the whole suit, really. Like where a lot of it is kind of pointy, and you see a lot of like point shapes, um, in there. Uh, the only real exceptions to that are kind of like the arms and uh, the fing the fingers and the collar, but apart from that, the rest of the suit has this like very pointy um, aesthetic to it. And I wanted this sh this suit to feel a lot sharper than any of my other custom suits, um, just because it's something I've never really done before. Um, I've never really had, like, a suit that felt, like, just felt pointy, which is a very weird adjective to give to a Spider-Man suit, let alone for me, as if you know me well, you know that, like, I tend to go for a lot rounder, more friendly looking suits, um, I rarely ever have anything that's pointy, um, which I guess we're gonna change that soon because I have, I have a, uh, a a pattern from my good friend Real Heroes Design, um, fucking talented man. Um, I have a pattern from him that that lays relatively sharper than the rest of my suits. Um, but yeah, um, again, like I said, like the like the mistakes I really made are just like me like realizing like things just don't look good. Like you saw in the torso, I um. I just didn't like I, I it didn't look right to me so I just changed it up here um I know I'm like commentating on that pretty late but there's it's not really much it's kind of self-explanatory as to what I'm doing here um but yeah um this suit I, I'm not gonna lie to you I did not have a lot of fun working on this for the majority of the time I, I was um I honestly like dreaded like working on this on on the um like the like halfway through i just i just wasn't having fun um it, this took me if you were to put like all the time i spent recording this together it took me roughly th maybe three hours over maybe maybe over two hours oh close to three hours long um which isn't bad by any means like that's that's pretty normal if I'm, like, just making a pattern in one day. I could definitely... I could do patterns in probably... Like, if you're giving me, like, a classic suit. Um, and I put all of my time into it. Generally, I can have it done, like, within, like, two hours. So, that's not the problem. The problem was that this design just is so far from me. And is so far from what I would do. That it was very, like... It was fun at first. It really was. Like it wasn't like the it wasn't like laying the sections out for me. That was the painful part. It was more so the webbing. The webbing it took most of my time doing this. And it's mainly because I wanted everything to be like like I wanted everything to make sense and I wanted it to be perfect in a way. So like You'll see here, especially, um, like, with the way webs were spaced out, I really wanted it, I really wanted it to, like, just flow properly, and I just wasn't getting that initially. Like, you'll see here, um, the webs are very tightly packed, and I wanted to keep that, but, um, because of the way, um, my pattern base flows and whatnot, I just, it just couldn't work like that. Uh, and that would also mean I'd have to, like, make extra webs for things. Like, it would look like I just slapped a bunch of vertical lines everywhere and it just wouldn't look good. Um, so I restarted that. And that happens a lot on this suit, actually. A lot. Um, but yeah, so it goes from, like, very tightly packed on the uh, mask and like on the upper sections to it fl to it flowing more and more and, it, and the uh, spacing is bigger and wider and more square like um i guess yeah 
I don't really have a better word for that. Um, and yeah, it was just overall kind of a pain in the ass. And like I said, I just wasn't having fun doing it. Um, I kid you not, when I finished um, this pattern in the recording for it, like recording all the footage, I, I jumped out of my chair with both of my hands on my head. And I was like trying my hardest to not scream. I had a dumb little grin on my face. Um, but it was, God, I was just so happy. Um, I am not sure if I'm going to get this printed. I probably won't. Um, just because, like, if I am going to get it printed, I want it, I want to refine it a, a little bit. Um, but if I, you know what, if I do decide to get it printed, um, I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll leave it up to you guys. Actually, yeah, let's leave it up to you guys. Um, without any edits whatsoever, after seeing the final product, would you want to see me get this printed at some point? Um, for that, I cannot guarantee it would be anytime soon. I am saving up for a new computer. Um, and that means I'm not going to have much wiggle room to buy new suits and whatever. Um, so... I'm going to start pushing out my um, my promo code for print costume, uh, TLC15, for 15% off your order at checkout. Um, that helps give me, um, give me sponsor points and whatever so that I can get free suits and make more content for you guys to enjoy. Um, and I'm currently um, in the process of getting one now, actually. Um, I'm not going to reveal what it is just yet, but I will say that it is a second version of a suit I already have. Um, and this suit was damaged my first week of college, so I had to retire it. Uh, which is sad, but, you know. Um, the Instagram fellas know this. I haven't been able to, like, post any, like, costume reviews or anything on, on this channel. In a long ass time, and it's still gonna be a minute because I gotta order a webcam. But, um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm waiting to uh, hear back from Frank Costume about that, uh, because I need to make sure that um, my memory from last time still applies. Um, but yeah, again, using that code at checkout is gonna help me get more suits that I can do for you guys. And that I can do for myself, because there's a lot of suits that I... There's a lot of patterns that I've bought and have accumulated over the years that I just still haven't gotten printed. I kid you, I was actually um, talking to one of my friends on Discord a couple days ago. I have stuff from 2020. Remember that? Remember that year? 2020? Oh my god. Um, I still have stuff from 2020 that I very much would like to get printed now. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, here you can see me, um... You see me working on the, or you saw me working on the mask webs, and now I'm working on the torso webs, um, bordering up all, all the red sections. Cause I I said this in my pattern tutorials, web lines. I love using them as a border to the um, red and blue sections, or primary and secondary. And web lines can be guides. Web lines can be guides. Um, I, it's a small nitpick, but whenever patterns don't use the guides as like um like another web line um it infuriates me um as you just saw there i realized that the uh smallest center part is like a little heart um and i thought it was really cute um in the moment like i i remember um after i rec i stopped recording the footage for that day um i i, I looked back and i was like oh it is a little heart it's cute um it, it just kind of made me happy a little bit here. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'm going to talk about um, my future plans and whatnot. Um, just while I have them on my mind. Um, so one of my bigger plans, uh, I, guess, I guess I should say bigger plans. One of my current plans right now is to do the Peter B. Parker suit from Into the Spider-Verse. I've been wanting to do that suit for a minute now. I wouldn't say too long. I think it's been a few years since I said I was I was like planning on doing it. Um but now I I do like want to do it. 
Um, and of course, with if I have like leftover money, or well, I'm splitting my money into two areas, like savings and then whatever. But if I have enough money to get myself like a Peter B shell, then because that's that's the realistically that is the only way I'm gonna do it. Um, I with movie suits, I just I don't know why I can't. I don't want to make my own lenses. I trust uh, 3D modelers and face shells and whatnot. Um, but with other stuff, I don't mind making my own lenses, and I love making my own lenses regardless. But anyway, P the Peter B. Parker suit, also by Real Heroes Design, um, is is like like up there on my big list of like suits that I want to do. Um, but yeah, and then I also. This is like a real hero's design show, a shout out here, aren't we? Um, I have another pattern from his. It's a um, custom take on the classic suit that he did, um, and I and I really enjoyed it. So I impulse bought it um, a long time ago, but that is also on my plans. Um, and you'll you'll you guys will see those suits coming within like the next few months. Uh, I'm ordering the I'm ordering one of the suits. Like, as soon as I can. And then the other suits will come in the following months. Um. Also. Uh, I have a 2099 suit in the works. Um. My, my good friend, uh, Spectacular Scarlet Spider, Brad, as we all know him. Um. He was kind enough to, um. Help me get my 2099 suit and, like, order it for me. And it's been with it's been in his possession for quite some time now and pretty soon he's gonna drop it off at my place um so that i can work on it all um i've made lens i've made custom lenses um the uh arm fins and a web cape for it um and this pattern or this 2099 suit in particular uh i made the pattern for it and it's based on Rick Leonardi's work on Spider-Man 2099 Volume 1. Specifically, his work on Volume 1. Um, because I've never seen anyone do it. And I just thought I'd pay a big tribute to him because I really like 2099 and I'm very excited to see him in Across the Spider-Verse. Um, but yeah. This <laughs> right here, you can see, I'm like kind of realizing that my my webbing isn't like matching up properly and later on you'll see me go on or go in and fix it um because i put the red section on the back too high and it goes over where it needs to be so it just it just didn't look right but um you'll see right there yeah there's more my base webbing just is not lining up. So I go ahead and I erase these web lines here. Um, like I erase like the uh, horizontal ones. Just because like I, I still want the like vertical sections to be like pretty decent. Um, but then I just kind of say... I realize right here... Um, one of these sections is not lining up. Lining up. It's, it's that very top one on the back. Like, where the, um, point starts. But anyway, I go ahead and I erase the red section and the webbing and whatever. I, I snag that, I snag that red color and I, I go ahead and I fix the shape here. Um, and that was, like, probably my biggest mistake in this, in this process. Is that I just kind of fucked up everywhere on that. But, um, we got it back and, you know, I, I have to duplicate it because, um, stuff doesn't, um, copy itself over. I have to do it myself. Anyway, we make the we put the webbing back, uh, and we uh fix it up there. Um, I figured I should just mention that because that's like the biggest mistake, and I guess that should also kind of say. And I know I was in the middle of my own like conversation and tangent, but I I should mention this while I can. As a pattern maker, I am not perfect. Uh, I make mistakes. And if you are learning from me, uh, one, I'm sorry, and two, and two, um, you're bound to make mistakes regardless. Um, it happens to the best of us, um, 
and you should never let it discourage you. If you're getting into pattern making, um, I'm always, um, able to, um, help out and assist. Like, if you ever need, like, any, uh, suggestions on how to go about things and whatnot, um, then feel free to DM me on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to help you. Um, but it's a trial and error process, and you'll ne you're never going to get things right the first time. Uh, if you do, please teach me your ways. Um, yeah, mistakes are bound to happen, and honestly, I find my own mistakes pretty funny, considering I'm... S I'll, I'll be the first to admit, I'm pretty, like... I'm a very nitpicky person when it comes to things lining up properly. Like, I'm able to tell when, like, a pattern just won't work, like, like right off the bat. Um, so, me recognizing my own, like, m my own patterns won't line up is, is really funny to me. And it's ironic in a way. Anyway, um, Rick Leonardi 2099. Um, I love his artwork. Um, and again, I've never seen anyone make a pattern based off of his 2099 art. So I thought, fuck it, I'll do it myself. And he's going to be at Heroes Con this year. And I'm hoping I get... Not even hoping, I'm going to meet him. <laughs> um, and of course, I've been preparing this 2099 suit um, for for this occasion. Um, like, I realized when I was... Because I, I was originally making it just because, like, I wanted to pay tribute to his work, and then I realized he was at Heroes Con, and that really gave me, like, the motivation to go ahead and, like, get it done. Um, and I, I can't wait to see what he thinks of it. Um, speaking of Heroes Con, uh, I cannot promise anything, but I might try to get a video of that con done whether it'll be like like a haul or um just me like meeting rick leonardi um either way i hope to have like a heroes con video out because i genuinely do miss doing con videos the i say that the last one i did was in 2019 um and Doing that was honestly really, really fun. Um, but with with Spe like me and Spectacular Scarlet Spider, me and Brad, we would all we would do um, con videos and recordings all the time, uh, and it was awesome. I say all the time. I think we only did a few, um, but you know, it, it's genuinely awesome, and I I hope that I get to um, have that. At least have the time to do that, because I have a lot planned for Heroes Con. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, I plan to meet a lot. I mean, I plan to meet a few artists here and blow my money on stuff that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah. So though the webbing on the legs, you just saw me do it. I hated the first iteration of it. You'll see me go back and change it later. It just doesn't look good. And one of the reasons I'm so like. I'm pretty, like, negative towards this pattern is mainly because of, like, I just wish, like, there's a part of me that wishes I could have designed this better. Um, because I honestly could have. There's a lot that I did here that I wish I just didn't do. Um, and, you know, like, the webbing, the webbing, especially on the lower half, is what really pissed me off and what really induced my rage. Anyway, you can see me here doing the, um, doing a test for the, uh, front logo here. And this is something I love to do, and honestly something I recommend every pattern maker do. Um, if you're, at least if you're starting out, is making test layers for your logos. This has saved me so, so much time. Because rather than just, like, going in blind and doing a logo... You can actually see, like, roughly where it should and shouldn't be, and how thick the legs, sh like, should be as well. Um, you get a good, you get a good idea of what you want. You get a good idea of what you want, and you get just a better sense of, like, scaling and proportions. Um, 
this is something even I struggle with to this day. Um, I won't even lie to you. So this logo takes inspiration from not even just the um, the uh, AI art, but it takes inspiration from the back emblem of the advanced suit from the uh, PS5 or PS4 and PS5 games. Uh, it takes inspiration from those, but the, mainly the pincers and the um, bottom half, really, just being um, two little points that round out. Um, and the legs, the legs of the suit um, are slightly Raimi based, but do follow the uh, AI or the uh, yeah, it, do, it does follow the AI like pretty well because I saw that there was like a there's like a like a cut, like a slice, um, like at the edges of the legs. So I thought I'm just gonna incorporate that. And yeah, here's where you can see like this is what I mean when I say like the proportions matter. And you need to or you you should try to get your um legs roughly all like the same width um and the same width and um actually yeah that's <laughs> sorry I blanked out there uh roughly the same width and um proportions like it should all just kind of it, it it should look like it makes sense. Um, and I, again, you saw it there, I create separate layers for the legs. I love doing that. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and of course, um, because, because I know how I am, um, please remember to save, um, every so often, if you're working on a Spider-Man pattern, or any cosplay pattern for that matter. Um, saving is awesome, and you should do it with every big change, so that you don't, like, fuck up. Or if you're a person like me, um, you can, you can always save when, when you're done working for the day. Um, because I'm very guilty of just, like, leaving the, um, file open for the next day, and I just let my computer sleep. This is... I mean, in my own personal experience, this has been fine, but in, um, situations where I'm in dire need of a fucking update, I can't afford to do that. Um, and here we are again, just making a test for the back emblem. Uh, the back emblem is the exact same story as the front emblem, it's just slightly tweaked to, uh, fit on the back. Like, you can see, um, the outer legs, or the, the outermost legs on the bottom um, just are a lot smaller than they are on the, uh, front logo, and the body of the spider this time is also a lot smaller. Um, and yeah, like I said, it's just a test, it ain't gonna be pretty. Um, it doesn't have to be. Tests should never be, like, perfect. Um, and again, the back emblem, like I said, is the exact same story. It's Raimi and Insomniac-based and AI-based. It's the, yeah... Um, oh, I've been talking a lot. Th this is the most I've ever, like, really talked. It feels like I'm streaming, but at, like, a rapid speed. Um, I mean, yeah. Um, we're actually coming, like, fairly close to the end here. Um, like, after this, after the, um, back logo, it's all webbing. It is all webbing. Um, yeah. Um, for those who are curious about, about suit reviews, uh, I do want to get back into those. Um, again, I just need to order a webcam. I was supposed to have one a while ago, um, but it never got delivered. Thankfully, I did get a refund from it, or for it, but I am hoping in the fe near, near future, um that I can go ahead and reorder it so that I can, um, so I can actually push out that kind of content because I, w I would do it, but with the current camera that I have on my laptop, like, it's just not going to happen. Yes, I am, in fact, working on a laptop. That's why I'm saving for a computer. <laughs> um, yeah, there we are. We just finished the back emblem, merged the layers together, removed the guides. Um, again, from here on out, it's all webbing. 
Um, this is where we'll see, like, my true frustration. I honestly wish that I could have, like, kept recordings of the audio. Because, or at least I wish I did, like, some audio commentary, like, in real time. Because, like, I was so, I was just ready to fucking finish this thing. I, I was just, I hated everything. And I also worked on this pattern a lot when I was sick. Um, which is something, uh, I shouldn't have been doing. I should have been sitting down and taking care of myself. But I was like, no, I gotta make content for YouTube. Um. But, uh, no. Um. I just hated everything. And I also just kind of was in, like, a weird spot where, like, I kind of wanted to pertain to my... I kind of wanted to focus on my social life more because I, um, I just kind of wasn't, like, doing so good at this point. Like, mentally either. Like, I just wasn't happy for a minute. Um, but, no, patterns are more important. Spider-Man is more important. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you can see here, I'm just making web lines for the uh, lower half here of the body and I'm looking at this and I'm like this is not working um but I'm pushing through anyway because whatever um and that okay that's a perfect example of what I mean when I say I don't like when patterns um do like they just don't continue on the seams whatever anyway yeah, you can see there, just erased all of those web lines, and now I'm going in, and I'm I'm just redoing it, because I just didn't like it, it wasn't turning out good, and I needed to do something else. Um, and that was ultimately the uh, best decision, even if it kind of, even if I accidentally messed up the uh, web lines on the uh, lower torso. Um, again, we all make mistakes. It's bound to happen. <laughs> uh, web lines can be guides. Uh, anyway. There's some aspects I still keep here. Um, but a lot of it I change. Um, I give outlines to uh, the guides. Just as a, as a whole. Um, and you'll see on the top of the um, back section there. Uh, where it connects to the, um, the back. Um, I, do put a, I do put a straight line there too. Um, you know, right here again, we go for the, we go for relatively the same concept that we had previously, but we, we change it up on the back a lot because I have this, um, just the idea that all of it is webs. Um, I just think it's, it's just a lot better if I go forth and here we are again, um, trying to figure out what's the best move for me, and I figure, um, best move is to just, um, and here we go with that straight line, uh, the best move is to just leave it, leave it be, don't create any web lines that aren't necessary, um, and it's, <coughs> excuse me, it is smooth sailing from here. Um, there's nothing really to say. Uh, I'm just making web lines. I'm making sure that they line up properly and will connect. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is another thing that I'm not a fan of. I don't really like when there's webbing on the lower half of Spider-Man suits. Um, I've never been a big fan of this. Uh, I've always thought it looks weird. Um, it just kind of leaves a weird taste in my mouth. Um, it's like, imagine if you ate a bunch of, like, salt and vinegar potato chips and did, and just left it there. And I mean, like, the entire, like, a huge-ass bag of, like, you ate the entire thing. I only make that analogy because that is something I genuinely did, like, not too long before this recording. Anyway. Um, again... Here you can see, like, um, from the top of the, um, suit, everything's tightly packed, everything's more, like, 
spacious, and everything on the bottom half is like, it's like it waves. It's not waves. It's um, it's more spaced out and it's more square-like and you know, just overall more like it flows more. Uh, again, you can see that I'm. I'm just making web lines, and I, I'm like, fuck it. Like, we're just winging it here. Again, like I said in the beginning, I did not... I did not make any extra concept art for this. I just went off... Excuse me, I just went off of what I thought would look okay. Um, and yeah, it turned out fine um, in the end. But, again, I'm not entirely satisfied with it. Uh, here we are working on the gloves, um, and I think I said this in my pattern tutorial, honestly, the arms, arms gloves and the boots are honestly just the easiest part of the webbing, because it's very straightforward, and I mean that quite literally, um, it's all just horizontal, make sure, like, one, or make sure that it's all, like, straight and it all connects to the same point and same plane. Uh, because that's how it'll be when it's sewn up. Um, but, yeah, again, spacing. I decided to continue that idea of, like, it flows. It's more, like, open on the arms. So I don't have very many uh, horizontal web lines going. Um, God damn, this is the most... I swear to God, this is the most I've ever talked in a video. Like, I'm, like, rapid, rapid firing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're on the final stretch here. Not much to really say here. Um, but yeah, just making web lines for the boots, making sure that everything lines up properly, everything's going to the same edge, um, removing any excess webbing that may be there. Um, I will say, there, in case someone out there is wondering, you might be like, but. The longest cosplays, Alex. Why, why no textures? I really didn't feel like adding them. I thought about it, but I was already so miserable by the end of this that I just did not want to add any textures. Um, it realistically would have just been like, uh, like just hexagons. That that's really all it could have been. Like standard hexagons for the blue sections and. Tasm one hexagons for the um for the blue or for the red sections. Um but yeah. Here we are just making the final webbing to the boots. Um I thought about erasing the webbing on the inside of the boot or the inside of the sole, but I realized uh one, no one's gonna see it. Or no one's gonna see too much of it. And two, um it just kind of looks better with the way that print costume and heroes time sew their shoes in you know you know how it is uh and again i was already so miserable by the end of this that i thought fuck it we're just gonna go with a very standard glove pattern for the webbing and and all that but um yeah we're that's that's it that's the that's the fucking suit all i gotta do is is um erase the guides that show up um, the cleanup process of the suit. Um, this is something I actually, I, I tend to do a lot, is I clean up the, um, any guides that may or may not show up in print. Um, just because, like, again, I use my web lines as guides, and if I think that, um, it'll show up in post, then, yeah. But... There you are. You're gonna see here. I admire my work, um, and in real life, I'm like, fuck this. I hate it. But um, yeah, that's it. That's the pattern. That's the video. Um, I'll have another section after this. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Take care. I don't know why I said take care. I'm. So that was the video. Definitely something I've never really done before. So, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, feel free to let me do know down in the comments. Um, that'd be pretty cool. I'd kind of like to do something like this again. Maybe without the commentary and just do, like, one of those, um, speed draw things or whatever. Uh, from, like, 2010. 
that I used to watch as a kid. Anyway, an idea popped up in my head. I know I was miserable making my own pattern for my AI spider sona, but I feel like it'd be really cool to make other people's AI spider sonas. So, completely free of charge, I'm going to link my Instagram down in the description and at the end of this video. Um, if you have an AI spider sona, feel free to send it to me. I'm going to handpick a few that I really like and think can make for a really cool pattern. And I will make it in a video. And I'll send it, I'll send the files to you guys and completely free of charge. I'll probably only do like two or three because I'm already working on commissions. Which, speaking of which, segue, um, my commissions are open. Um, again, message me on Instagram about that or email me if you have any questions. Uh, I'll be happy to answer any and I'll be happy to work on commissions. Uh, I don't have any, um, I have unlimited slots, so don't worry about it. Um, while we're at it, check out my pattern shop. Um, I will link that in the description below. Use code TLC15 for 15% off your order of prank costume. I said this early in the video, but this helps me get points so that I can get more suits and more content out to you guys. It'll really, it'll really help support me in every way possible. Um, but yeah, I've had, I hope you've had a good day or night. Uh, remember to like this video and subscribe if you want more content. This is the longest cosplays. Signing out.